The Diecast Guy presents A Muscle Machines Review What's up everybody? The Diecast Guy is back at you again. In today's video will be a Muscle Machines Review. Hence the intro. And this is also going to be the first time I have filmed a video for this channel at dark. Yeah, I got to admit, I got to get used to this getting dark at 6 o'clock in the evening. I got to get used to this, I have to admit. Now, on with the video. Alright you guys, the first vehicle we'll be reviewing will be the Muscle Machines. Nitro Coop, Bruce Bolland, 1933 Jeep Willys. So I gotta admit, I had to, I had to get a spotlight on and get the flash on this video, so you guys can see the car a bit better. And so it's now on with the showing, because it's currently the only light we have. The only light I have when doing this video is just that little lamp right now. Because it is currently dark outside. Now, on with the video. Alright, you guys. So again, this is a 1933 Jeep Willys. Bruce Bolland. The number's NC03-05. This is Stinger right there. Here's a little paint job right there. And I like the little paint job and it has little decals there on the bottom. And a little broken a little broken rubber band or something right there. It, I think it may have been like that when I got this car. Right, as you can see right there, it even comes with some wheelie bars, the drag racing slicks in the front thing. The spoiler, here's what it looks like on the top. Here's the front of the car. And then, of course, the back of the... Hopefully I can get this where you guys can see the back of it. Alright, if you guys can see the back of it, good. Because I can hardly see it myself, I gotta say. But here it is. And there's even the bottom of the car. It even has little exhaust things out the front side right there. And here's a picture of this. Here's a picture of this car doing the burnout, getting ready to drag race. And that's what this car is built as, and even has little nitro coop words with the Muscle Machines uh, diecast adult collectible logo. 164 scale, ages eight and over. Even the website with the website super che super chevy show dot com. Hard for me to pronounce that all at the same time. Super. With the super, and then both, and then both words with the sh sound. <laughs> nice red color up here top. I love the flames here. And there's even the little fun line with the tire with a little lizard on it. Now we're gonna flip it over to the back. Here's what it looks like here on the back. And 2020, the 2003 racing schedule. It looks like. If you guys want to, you can pause the video and read this. But, you do not have to. It's totally up to you. And here's what it looks like on the outside. And look at the little colors right there. And pictures there. It has opening doors. You can remove the front of it, it looks like. It even gives you little instructions on how to do it. <laughs> like that for those who collect this stuff and open them. And there's the other bomb part. If you guys want to pause that and read it, you can, but you do not have to. Now, on to the next car. All 
right, the next car is a 1955 Nomad. And here's the bottom of it. Of course, love the blue paint job with the nice... Looks like this car is not built for drag racing, but it is built to look like a muscle car. A nice spoiler on the back. Or on the top, not back. <laughs> here's the front of the, the side of the car with the top view. The back has the nice tail lights with the nice trunk thing with those little lines there. And nice rear bumper. Turn this around here. Ooh, they even went a little... Ooh, on the spoiler here, they even went a little bit in the detail and put a black belt on the spoiler. You don't see that all the time on these cars. With the red little things right there. The grill and the nice headlights. Nice tires with the nice silver rims. And here's the car here. It says 55 Nomad Muscle Machines. And I just love that artwork there. It's a Chevrolet, so it's a 55 Chevy Nomad. I, it took me a little bit to try to remember that. And here's the top, the top of it. And the Muscle Machines Diecast Adult Collectible 164 Scale. Fun, and it has fun line right there with the same old lizard like on the last car. Then there's even the official website. If you want to check out that website, you totally can. Because I don't remember ever being on it, but I might check that out myself. Nice black and it even has purple and blue flame work on it. Love it. Alright, you guys, we got... In the back of this. And, and of course there's all the other cars there. And then there's a wording on the bottom. If you guys want to you can pause the video and read that. But you do not have to. Now. On to the next car. Alright guys. This is the last car. And this is it. The 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle. Love the paint job of the American flag on it. Nice tires with the, the silver rims. I just love this right here, the back bumper. And the front end with the grill front bumper. It looks like they put like a little some kind of something on the hood there. The top of it. Alright you guys, this is... The, this here is the card here, and it even has the paint job as painted like the American flag, I guess. And then, like, the, this car with a spoiler on it in the picture. But the car itself in here doesn't have the spoiler. It has the Statue of Liberty in the background. And these wording here, that means that this paint job, it was there for the memorial of the events that, folded, that unfolded the day of September 11th, 2001, in the morning. This is as a 9-11 memorial of the events that unfolded at about 8 in the morning. That's as far as I'm going to go on that. Alright, you can see this. Here it has Muscle Machines, Diecast Adult Collectible. And something I definitely love is they still have the purple and blue flame work American flag right there. Alright, guys, and here's some wording up there. If you want to, you can... Read that if you want, but you don't have to. 164 scale. Of course, the fun line like I have on the other two vehicles I showcased here tonight. It even has, I hope you guys can see that, this sticker here. Well, I'm going to grab the little light real quick. Alright, if you guys can see that. Okay, there it is. I had to grab the little spotlight I'm using right now. Because normally I'll use natural light, but there is no natural light out there right now. It's dark. I gotta get used to it being dark this early in the evening. Alright, now here's the back of it. And if, you, and if you want to, you can pause the video and read this, but this is all the other cars there. I'm going to grab the previous car and show the back of it again. See, that one there has other cars related to this 55 Nomad right here. 
And then this one here has other cars from the from this one here that's related to this car. Alright guys, you can see this here. I'll be right back. Alright you guys. This concludes today's video, or should I say tonight's video. But I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, everybody.